Well, it's uh, Thursday. It's Thursday, September 28th. And uh, me and my dad and Hunter are up on a big knob. His hunt starts tomorrow, early muzzleloader elk hunt in a tough unit. So he's got his work cut out for him. But just talked to Chase. He's coming down the interstate right now. Headed to Texas, going on an Audad hunt for himself and a buddy. So, kind of jealous. They might see something. We're not seeing any elk, so. The grind starts tomorrow. He's, Hunter's put in a lot of work on this hunt. A lot of scouting, a lot of, a lot of boot miles. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. Let's lay it right. All the weeds that they grew are never ending. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our fate while your hands getting stained. In transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath. What a fool state of mind But hey, it's a paycheck It's a paycheck God only knows It's July 7th About 6 in the morning It's pretty hot already Me and Hunter Hiking in some stuff to his elk unit, do a little scouting. We've seen some cows, a bunch of water. The unit looks awesome. So we're gonna go set some cameras and check some country out that we hope holds elk. Maybe there won't be anyone in during the hunt. So low density numbers, but we're gonna gamble on. There's a big bull and no people so we'll see 10 more weeks and it all starts so Just uh, found this spring, like I said earlier, and we went ahead and banded it up, and we'll see what she produces. Well, here it is. Scouting for Hunter's muzzleloader hunt. This is all we got. <laughs> Gonna have some dinner, a beer, and a nap.
So what happened? I don't want to talk about it. Where's no. your trekking poles? Um, I don't know. <laughs> where are your boots? Those are at home. I do know where those are. Those are some pretty sweet boots. <laughs> <laughs> About almost died today. Thanks to Kevin though. <laughs> Caught me rolling down the mountain. His berries didn't hold up. Anything on the camera? No, nothing on the camera. Had a bear come and lick it and some moo cows. That was about it. Too much water. Too much water. All the creeks are flowing. They're just getting water as they please. But that's how it goes. We just hiked in about four miles. And there's no roads. And we're checking springs and we just found this one. And it looks to be pretty good. We saw some bulls right up here. They had just stripped their velvet this morning feeding. The mosquitoes are really bad. So we're gonna hang a camera and come back here in about three or four weeks and uh, see what we can turn up. So, had a good morning, saw a bunch of bulls. Nothing good yet, nothing big. So, they're just now stripping their velvet so we might start seeing more soon. So, we'll see how it goes. We gotta get out of here. It's Thursday, the 28th, the day before my early muzzleloader hunt, and uh, just got back to camp, got everything situated, got the packs loaded, some fresh water, snacks, should be ready to go, got our game plan, found a pretty good bowl tonight, and uh, put them to bed, and hopefully we get on them in the morning. We're excited, and can't wait. We just uh, looked at that bull. We're sitting about 700 yards from him, and uh, we got some pretty good footage of him. And we think we're gonna pass him. It's day one. He's got a broken first, and he's a little short on his points. But he's a cool bull, so we're definitely gonna keep eyes on him. Uh, we're gonna go look at some other stuff. See what else we can turn up. But uh, exciting.
just got done with the morning hunt. We just checked a few cameras on a tank and uh, no, no shooter bulls. So we're gonna back out and go try something else this evening. Let's see what we find. Well, into the first day. Uh, started off in the morning, we found that bull that we were looking at. And uh, he just wasn't what I wanted. So we're gonna go, uh, gonna go check out some new country tomorrow, hopefully. Randy found a glass up pretty good bull this evening. Couldn't get a good look at it, so we're gonna go check it out tomorrow. See what we see. So our original plan yesterday was to uh, hike into some uh, new country, but uh, this morning our side-by-side -side broke down, so we had some mechanical problems, so we had to make up a new game plan, hopped in the truck, and drove to a place, a new place that Randy saw a bull last night, hoping we can find him, get a different look on some country. Um, hope it goes alright. We just loaded up uh, two or three nights worth of food and uh, this summer we we carried in about 20 gallons of water on a couple different trips into some rugged country that hold elk that holds elk and uh, not many roads not many people go in there hopefully we haven't seen or heard anything but we're uh, it's 11 now we're gonna take off hike in build a camp and stay there for two maybe three days depending on how good it is so we'll see it's hot it's really hot and uh, we're traveling at the wrong time of the day today but we're just gonna take it slow get in there and hopefully about by three o'clock be uh, sitting up somewhere glassing some big bulls as long as somebody can shoot straight <laughs> So we just got a uh, camp all set up, hiked out to a point that we had seen some bulls previous scouting, and uh, just getting set up for the evening. It's pretty windy, but uh, we'll see. Uh, pretty hot, so there's a spring right below us, and we're hoping that maybe some bulls will filter out of a basin right to that spring.
All right, guys, we just made it back to camp. Um, had a good evening. Saw a couple bulls, little bulls. Kevin called one in about 100 yards. And uh, we're just back at camp, eating a mountain house. And we ended up running into three of our buddies. <laughs> They didn't really come prepared. They don't have anything to sleep with, so we're sparing a couple of mountain houses so they can survive. In hopes that they turn me up a big old bull in the morning. So we're gonna eat and we'll get back with you. Ryan's a fan of beef stew. What else? Rice and chicken? Mm -hmm. Or some of this? Rice and chicken too. It's just like a fan of Hey guys, so thanks for watching the, the latest video. We put a lot of work, a lot of time and effort into this hunt. Uh, it was an early muzzleloader elk hunt in Arizona. We anticipated, like everybody does, you know, the rut, all of that that comes with it. And just didn't happen that way. So we stuck it out. We go through a lot of, a lot of miles trying to find a good bull and in the next episodes coming up you will you'll see that we finally find a good bull um you'll have to stay tuned to see whether or not we knock them down so all right so make sure you, you come back tomorrow because at the same time while this hunt's going on chase is in texas which you've already seen jay's started his alaska goat hunt tomorrow we'll go back to jay's hunt and catch up with him and just every day bounce back and forth as how these hunts rolled out. Bad men turn good women wrong and make bastards out of their sons and fools of themselves. They're only judged by